This is a Packard Deluxe 8, 1929 Packard. And if it looks familiar, you were with us yesterday. Bill and Katie uh, took us around this dual cowl Phaeton. Uh, gave us a good preview yesterday. Now it's time to put it under the lights. Oh, look at that. 385 cubic inches, 125 horsepower. That is a flathead inline eight-cylinder engine, three-speed manual transmissions, automatics. Weren't available back in 1929. And this was one of America's top premier luxury prestige automobiles in fact right up until right up until the early 1940s Packard was right up there with literally the world's best of luxury cars and all it takes guys is just one look at this car just to see that it really even all these years later it's got quite a presence yeah it was one of the three P's of premium cars back then Packard Porsche Pontiac uh, no. <laughs> maybe Pierce or something no yes no uh, Pierce Arrow, of course, was the yeah, other one. Yeah. And Peerless. They were the three top brands here in the United States, beginning with the letter P. And perfect example right here. Built to compete with the Duesenberg and the Auburns and all those ultra-high luxury custom-built cars. And uh, after the Great Depression, things sort of got a little bit shaky for Packard, like a lot of manufacturers, as they began to try to appeal more to the middle class. And a lot of people believe that was the beginning of the end for them. Well, you know, if you're wondering how they sold this car in the market they had in 1929, remember, the crash didn't occur until the fall of 29. This car would have probably been built long before that. And secondly, the 1%, they still had the money back then. So they, they were still buying. And look at that. Talk about buying $135,000 just bought that Packard. Wow. Yeah. There were rich people that wanted their cars. The problem was there weren't as many of them after the Depression.